Okay, so this is question number 11. I'm going to find this question a little bit tricky because although I've got um, a ruler and a protractor here, I don't have a pair of compasses and I do need a pair of compasses. So you have to kind of bear with me and kind of see how it goes. So, um, right, let's have a look. A and B are points in the line. The real distance in kilometers between A and B is 56 kilometers. So that's our first thing. Let's measure the distance between A and B. So I drew a line and measure the distance between them. So, and we can see it's 8. So I know that the 8 centimeters in real life is worth 56 kilometers. So if I divide by 8, I get 1 centimeter represents 7 kilometers in real life. So we need that scale possibly to see what's going on later. It says treasure is buried at point C on the island. Point C is 35 kilometers from A and the bearing of 300 from B. Well, the 35 kilometers from A, I can't really do. All I would, would do is I'd use a pair of compasses and I'd measure 35 kilometers. Oh, I've spotted an error. That should say clearly shouldn't say one centimeter is seven centimeters because that doesn't make any sense. It should say one centimeter plus seven kilometers. I did say that but I wrote it down wrong. So what I would do if I wanted to make 35 kilometers that's obviously going to be five times as big as this so that would be five centimeters. So what I would do uh, five kilometers I just want to kilometers this time. I'd measure five with my pair of compasses, I'd line it up, I'd measure five, and then what I would do is I'd draw an arc with my pair of compasses. Okay, so I'm going to do that in a second, but I can't, I'm going to have to get freehand and it's not going to be very good. So I'm going to do it, should do it with a pair of compasses, but I can't do that. I can, however, measure the bearing of 300 from B. So I'm going to get my protractor, and I'm going to line up the zero exactly on the cross. See if I can get it better than that. That's the best I can do. And then what I would do is I want to start with zero pointing north. So I'll start with zero pointing north and I want to go around 300 degrees. Well, I know there's 360 degrees. So if I go all the way around to the bottom, down to around the outside, that's 180. So if I spin it, continue spinning it, I need to consider, I wasn't 180 down here, this was 180 degrees. I want to now go another 120 degrees, which is there. Okay, so let's get this protractor out of the way. And then you can see that there, that's going to be all the way around here, from here, around to here, was 300 degrees. Or I could have gone backwards, I suppose that would have been easier. I could have gone backwards 60 degrees. So I'm just going to line this up, go all the way around, and then see if I can match that. And then just make that line go a little bit longer, all the way up there. Okay, so I know the treasure. Read right away. I know the treasure at C lies somewhere on this line. I also know it's uh, five centimeters from. So what I would do is I draw a circle using my pair compasses five uh, of five meters or five centimeters and mark the point C with a cross. So let's have a look at what else it would be. So let's measure five centimeters. Let's see where it would be. So there's one place there. Uh, and actually, if I spin this round, uh, there is another spot which is five centimeters, which is there. So I take that off. 
So this was where five centimeters is, and this is where five centimeters is. There's actually two spots. However, given that this is an island, this one isn't going to work. This is the correct one, C. So this one is the one I don't want. This is the one here. And I would use prep compasses. And you'd have a nice circle going around here and it would cross twice. 